In this lesson, we'll cover adding our foundation walls. So in previous exercises, we added our architectural walls for the first floor and the second floor. To see where we want to place our foundation walls, let's look at one of the elevations. In the project browser in the lower left, scroll down to elevations and double click east. Once we have the east elevation, go ahead and zoom in around the elevation text in the lower right. As you can see, our architectural walls go from the first floor to the second floor to the actual roof. Now the distance between the foundation and the first floor is going to be for our actual floor, the floor joist and the makeup of the flooring material. Between the foundation level and TO footing level will be where our foundation wall goes. The distance between TO footing and basement is for the basement slab. And the distance between BO footing for bottom of footing to the TO top of footing is our actual footing. So for this exercise, we'll go to the foundation level and draw our foundation wall down from the foundation level to TO footing. So go ahead and close the elevation view, X out of it. And then in the project browser in the lower left, double click foundation to open the foundation view. Now let's start to create a structural wall for foundation. So go to the wall dropdown, choose wall structural, and then in the property area, click the dropdown and we'll choose a foundation wall. In this case, foundation 12 inch concrete. Now in the options bar across the top, you see depth is highlighted. and It's asking us down to what level? Well, I'm going to go down to TO footing, top of footing. And we can see that's roughly eight feet. Now the location line I want to select is the finished face exterior because I want to align the foundation wall with my existing architectural walls on the outside. In the draw area, I could use line, but I'm going to speed the process by using rectangle. So go ahead and select rectangle. We'll start in the lower right. So zoom in and click the lower right outside corner of the existing architectural walls. Then zoom back out, drag your mouse up toward the left to roughly where grid four is at and click the upper left corner near grid four. This will create foundation walls below the main living area of the house. Now I need to create foundation walls below the garage. In the draw area, choose line. In the lower area to the right of the garage, Again, go over the outside of the architectural wall, click, then start to drag your mouse to the left. We're simply tracing the perimeter of the garage walls, and you'll end back near grid four. Once complete, click modify. And if you zoom back out, you can see our foundation walls now go around and below all of the existing architectural walls. Go ahead and switch to the 3D view. Here, you can see the foundation walls have been added below our main architectural walls. There is space between those wall types for our flooring. So in this lesson, we looked at creating foundation walls. We explained how the foundation wall will be placed below the architectural wall between specific levels. We then went to that level and drew our foundation wall down from it to the appropriate lower level. We aligned the foundation walls on the exterior face of the architectural walls by just tracing the perimeter. 